What's going on everyone and welcome to another Boylan video. Today I want to talk to you all about resource management and some of the best tips that you can do going forward and I think now is a good time to talk about this because uh, we're kind of on the back of the Nowhere Heist event. We're going to talk about this very briefly at the start of the video and uh, you know especially for characters like Rocket, Star-Lord, maybe Kitty Pride and maybe Invisible Woman who you were made to gear and you know put put orange gear into it specifically and it doesn't feel good. Uh, the rest of the video I do want to talk about more generally about things like superior basic catalyst uh, for some maybe not newer accounts uh, a lot of kind of more veteran accounts and, and higher end accounts are having this issue now I know my baby account doesn't have it but more generally I want to talk about team and character building and what you should really expect every patch to do to make sure that you're always kind of keeping up with the game because there's a lot of things that you can do but if you're careful and if you're not too careful, you can really get behind in this. So these are the kind of things that I want to talk about in this video. So without further ado, let's get this show started. Okay. So we're here in the Nowhere Heist window and... I want to just talk about this really quickly. As of recording this video, it's technically not over yet, uh, but by the time you watch this, very likely it will be, and so that's not exactly why I'm here. Uh, so what I ended up doing for this event was I took my characters to... Uh, I was already at Tier 5. I basically could do all the way to Tier 5 regularly. Um, I did upgrade my Star-Lord and my Rocket to Gear Tier 14 to to, wind, uh, to to kind of round out the rest of them who are, were already Gear Tier 14+. plus. But in terms of the amount of investment that I had to do for this, or even considering, say, Gear Tier 15 for Tier 7, which I could have also done, but I chose not to because I just didn't feel the resources were worth it compared to the amount of SBCs that I would have had to put in. And, and other gear, you know, mini uniques, other things like that, you know, to, to get these measly rewards in this sense. Like I said, it's not a Nowhere Heist video just some people were interested to see where I got to and uh, this is where I did I landed at tier 6 and that's where I'm staying for now until you know things get a little bit easier in terms of the SBC gear crunch things like that as well so uh, I really want to go into that and that's where we're gonna start we're gonna open up my roster and the reason why I'm talking about nowhere heist is because there's some issues here with orange gear specifically so a lot of people are wondering, you know, they ask me questions like, hey, Boylan, you know, like, where should I take a character up to, um, you know, a new character that just came out? I don't know how high I'm going to be, how hard I'm going to be investing them into, you know, where should I take them to? And if we look at all of the characters here, you know, say, for example, I haven't pushed hard into Lady Deathstrike. So where I would normally take a new character that I'm not sure if I'm going hard on on them, like I, I know I probably should do Lady Deathstrike at some point. A lot of people have been telling me I need to do this. Uh, but where I normally take a new character is to about level 65, gear tier 12. And it's pretty easy now. I think there's a lot of gear. There's enough gear coming into the game for purple, especially to get yourself to gear tier 12. It's not too hard to do if you've been playing the game even a reasonable amount of time. Like my baby account can get most characters to gear 12. No problem. I, I don't really have a lot of bottlenecks in that regard there. But where it becomes a problem is going beyond this. So my suggestion for all of you is don't even touch the orange gear level gear tier 13 or higher unless you're willing to go all in so if they're a character that's very very good let's very easy example right the eternals icarus obviously one of the best characters in the game uh who did not receive a nerf after all other than not being able to be used as much in rta that's another story uh but you know this is obviously one of the best characters in the game so he's someone that you're going to want to take all the way you know and so those characters if you're willing to gear tier 13 them you better take them to 14 and 15, right? Because at that point, it's just not much point. The The amount of stat increases that you get from 13 is very minuscule. The biggest uh, bump that you get is actually geared to your 14, which then, of course, you know, has the associated gold and level. But but what I'm talking about is, is both from a gold perspective and largely from an orange gear perspective. So, you know, if don't take them to gear tier 13 plus, unless you're willing to max them is what I'm kind of going at. This can be the same for T4s as well. You know, so if you have some characters that you're not sure about, leave them at the gear tier 12, level 65 range. Uh, one thing I will say though, is if they're a good character, but for whatever reason, you don't want to invest too much gear into them, you can invest the gold into them because the levels actually make a significant difference in terms of 
in terms of their stats their stats uh they get a huge power bump actually post level 80 as well so that's really nice and i want to just double back to the nowhere heist to give a good example of this actually i already had them favorited so i don't know why i did that kitty pride is a really good example of a character that i have a gear tier 14 but i don't have her at gear tier 15 however i do have level 85 because the amount of stats that you're getting from say beyond level 80 even is pretty good that can actually make up in a lot of ways for some of the gear to be had here. I did not take Kitty to gear tier 15 because she's a very expensive character to gear, especially for Nowhere Heist. So I don't need her for the purposes of the raids that I do. And for that reason, I left her at gear tier 14. But I just wanted to keep in mind how expensive it is to actually gear someone. So this is going to vary by person. I thought there was SBCs on that unique, but I guess not. So I wanted to find a piece that actually had SBCs. So here for me, I'm actually doing pretty well and there's a couple of reasons why you know so i have about 6500 spcs i see screenshots from other players especially higher end players who are like less than 2000 on spcs and to really put this into perspective that's like one character okay so i'm gonna bring up this picture from msf.g actually it's, it's the msf.gg bot uh this is the gear bot anyways and so you can see total crafting materials needed for gear tier 8 to 16 however i want to state you do not need spcs for gear tier 16. so looking at star lord 2100 spcs to get to gear tier 15 for star lord rocket raccoon 2220 kitty pride 1700 rounding up of course um so what this means is that to get to gear tier 15 you're expending a shit ton of spcs now for gear tier 14 you're usually looking around a thousand maybe 1200 spcs but going back to my account here you know so hypothetically this is enough for like five gear tier 14 characters right it's not a lot and so when we're in a patch that includes a lot of war characters you know and i'm guilty of this i'll be honest i'm super guilty for building into young avengers i would not typically recommend this the only reason if you've been following my channel you know that i don't know i really wanted to do this because i have a sub seven yellow seven red squirrel girl i don't this is not something that i typically recommend for people to go into uh, on a war defense team especially or war teams in general but definitely not on war defense so Take this with a grain of salt. I'm not telling people to build Young Avengers. I'm just kind of sharing what I did more recently. Uh, but for Dark Hunters, this whole patch is kind of like war-centered. And so I really want people to be careful for a couple of reasons. Both the Young Avengers and the Dark Hunters have characters that were both reworked and a brand new character. So hypothetically, let's say, you know, I said about 1,200 SBCs for uh, a Gear Tier 14 character. So if I were to take all of my Dark Hunters to Gear Tier 14... That would be 6,000 SBCs. And my current stock of SBCs would be gone, right? I'll tell you that my baby account's sitting on around 15,000 SBCs, so I'm doing a lot better. But this is something that I want to caution people with, is that this can easily run away really quickly. If you're not careful and you gear whoever you want to whatever gear tier you want, at some point, you're going to notice that your stocks are going to dwindle. Whether it's your mini uniques, whether it's your SBCs, or whether it's your gold. So you really need to be cautious about who you're wanting to take up. And I want to say that, you know, more generally, patch to patch to patch... I focus on a couple of characters I, I normally so because we have two teams this patch we have the young avengers and the dark hunters if you want to build one of them i would stick to one not both just one because you're not going to have enough resources to do both and i think that's really critical to understanding how far you can stretch your resources i've done a gold calculator in the past you're probably looking at about like 40 ish million i think because it's about 1.5 million a day now. It used to be like around 1 million, but I think it's more than that daily. I think you're you're somewhere between 1.5 to 1.8 million a day now. So times it by 30, you know, you're looking at probably about, actually probably like 45 million is probably more appropriate. Uh, but it takes about 13 million to max out a character in gold. So that's like three or four characters. And because we're getting rework characters on top of a lot of these patches, it's just, just not enough, right? So you got to pick and choose your battles. And that's the most important suggestion for... Uh, resource management but a uh, one thing that i want to do tell you that i've been doing lately believe it or not for those of you with a lot of raid credits i don't know if there's a lot of you out there who just you know cloak is in the raid store now sharon carter's in there but aside from that i'm not buying orange origin gear anymore because i'm finding this less to be a problem i'm also not buying standard orange stat catalyst because i also don't think i need to do that anymore either so where i am actually is here i'm actually spending two thousand 
upgrade credits to buy 10 superior basic catalysts. I'm doing this daily. I don't know why I hadn't done it yet. Maybe I was trying to save it for this video. I do this three times a day. That's 30 SBCs every day. And it, you know, it's good for people who don't have, you know, the 15,000 anymore because you invested in prior characters, especially for players like myself, uh, people who are in sort of that end game who have, you know, leveled up gear tier 14 characters in the past who maybe aren't so, you know, worth it anymore that you're not using them as frequently. I'm looking at you like Silver Surfer and some of these characters that I took up really high, but now I'm not using them daily as I used to. And so I'm running out. I'm not saying I'm running out. I, I, cause I'm conservative about where I use these, but you know, having, being able to buy these, you know, daily, if you're like me and have a lot of raid credits, I think this is something that you should consider. Um, you know, maybe even consider this if you have 15,000, uh, 15,000 SPCs anyways, but you do have a lot of raid credits. So if you're someone who's stocked up on a lot of raid credits, do buy this every store reset. I personally would recommend it because you're always going to need these because they're so, at least for now, because they haven't really increased the amount of income of SBCs coming into the game. So this is something that's really important because you saw when we looked at the gear requirements that you're, you're, you're looking at anywhere from like 1200 for gear tier 14, 2000 for gear tier 15. It's an exorbitant amount of SBCs required for characters to gear them to the end game level. And more and more, we're seeing useful characters that you want to either consider gearing but you might not be able to. And so this is a bit of a problem when it comes to resource management. This is the number one thing about gotcha games, uh, hero collectors, things like that is resource management. Making sure that you understand where your gold is going to go, where your gear is going to go, where your T4s are going to go. And for the record, you get about roughly enough T4s. Um, you know, this is like Platinum 1 kind of war levels and uh doom raid one or two you're getting enough t4s to essentially max out two and a half to three characters per month so on a whole that's actually enough for all the new characters but what i'll tell you it's not enough for is it's not enough for reworked characters which we're getting more frequently every patch so miss marvel america chavez and squirrel girl for the young avengers we've got ghost rider elsa and uh, mordo to some extent uh for dark hunters and the list goes on so we saw six reworked characters for this patch on top of the four new ones that's technically 10 characters to work on and you just can't do that right you just really can't so you need to pick and choose your battles understand the limitations of your resources and where you want to put it and if you need to go backwards to do some teams like i haven't even finished spider punk and i'm still sitting here talking about how i want to gear lady deathstrike so these are two characters right i think at the most uh ma most players can probably max out about three characters per month so with that in mind, think about where it's going to, which characters you want to focus on and work on it. Laser focus is more important than a wide focus. You know, for those of you who went all in on Web Warriors, for example, you're probably pretty low on resources, whether it's bio gear, whether it's SPCs, whether it's T4s, you know, all of this because you had to invest in anywhere from three to five characters for that patch, right? And so you just can't do it all. And I think that's so important for players to understand what you can do with your resources, where that's going to go, and who you're going to be putting it into, you know, and where are you going to have the most impact? And so for me personally, if I had to say, you know, the biggest impact for the characters that I like to build are at this point, Doom Raid characters. And if I'm lucky, those Doom Raid characters also, you know, are broadly usable in Dark Dimension in the future, like my Icarus that I'm hoping to take in alongside Cersei here once I get enough gear for her. And of course, Arena meta characters, which again, Cersei and Icarus doubles for like every game mode right now. So my investment is not, you know, bad putting into these characters. But there's a lot of like single game mode characters that maybe you need to double think, uh, you know, whether or not you actually want to invest into them. So yes, uh, the moral of this point though is uh, for most players, don't actually invest in Young Avengers. I'm not telling people to go do that. This was a specific example for me because I did mention ahead of time that uh, because of my Squirrel Girl, my 7 Red Squirrel Girl, that uh, this is something that I was going to do. But it's not for everyone. So just wanted to say that today here on the back of Nowhere Heist. And a lot of people are thinking about where is my resources going? What should I do with them? And how do I kind of make sure that going into the future that I can maintain it this way? And you might need to be a little bit more conservative about the characters that you want to upgrade so that you have enough for when a good set of characters do come and you can make sure that you do that. So uh, that's the end of this video. Uh, let me know what you think in the comments down below. And of course, until next time, stay safe, stay healthy, and stay sane, because apparently we're talking about that now. And I'll see you all later. Boylan signing out.